Hi, I'm Stephen Ng, and welcome to another review of another movie. This one is the 2020 version of The Witches. Now, if you've seen the original, I have not read the book. I should. But uh, if you've seen the original with Angelica Houston, um, the only thing I could say about this new one, for the most part, is that the most positive thing about this is that now that your family and your child have now seen the remake uh, with uh, Anne Hathaway, um, that they're gonna probably, you're probably gonna wanna show your kids the original with Angelica Houston. And uh, that's the greatest thing. The movie was me, you know, but we're gonna get into that. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay. Um, first off, positive things about the movie. One, um, Anne Hathaway, um, she did have some funny moments. She had some funny moments. And some of the movie was enjoy was enjoyable. Was enjoyable. But mm, there was a big, big lot of problems. A lot of problems for me. A lot of problems for me personally. Maybe you really loved it. You know, I'm sure your kids and family will absolutely adore this movie. It seems to be getting great reviews. And people think it's spellbounding and all that. Uh, but here are my problems. Uh, one, the original with Luke and his grandmother, it was so believable. There, the chemistry was so great between them. The music was wonderful. And when Luke loses his family in the original, you felt it. The violins. And the grandmother sitting there on the couch, if you watched it, it's heartbreaking. It is a heartbreaking movie, but great. Awesome at the same time. The new one, it was kind of, I felt shallow, hollow. Um, I didn't really feel the connection or the love um, from the new Luke and the new grandmother. Um, I didn't feel that, you know, they're... they're it was, it was very fast paced. It was like they took the original, which took the time to have heart and emotion and everything worked out, I think, very well. But with this one, it seemed like they just went really fast through it. They just went real fast and skipped through it. And the most biggest thing about this movie, the most biggest improvement was the CGI. It was the CGI. The CGI was pretty good, but here are my problems. One, practical effects will never beat um, CGI. Or CGI, well, I'm sorry, CGI will never beat practical effects. The practical effects in the original, and then and, and Jim Henson had something to do with it. You know, Jim, it was Jim Henson, so you can't, you can't really go, go bad with Jim Henson, because he was a genius. So, the CGI was like, whatever. Um, Angelica Houston in the original, the makeup was mm, scary. It was scary. And uh, Angelica Houston did a wonderful job. She was the Grand High Witch. And Hathaway play played the Grand High Bitch. You know, she was still very beautiful. She was very beautiful, and they tried to little differences. You know, like she had, like Anne Hathaway had scars or on her mouth that made her mouth stretch, and um, her little feet were claws and her little hands and things. But uh, the problem I had with Anne Hathaway was um, she wasn't scary. She was very beautiful still, and. She just wasn't scary. It was more comical. And she had funny moments. And, you know, I couldn't understand what the hell she was saying half the time. Like, she was like, you know, Remove your beaks! Remove your beaks! Remove your rickner! I couldn't understand what the hell she was saying half the time. And that really bothered me. And, um... Like I said, the performances, it was just very, 
They just rushed through it, it seemed. Before I knew it, Luke was in the fucking witch's group or their little conference, and then he was a fucking mouse, and then he put it together that he, what he was gonna do and what the plan was, and then boom, it's the movie's over. I'm like, hold on a second. You didn't take two seconds to, you know, to let me. Let me feel bad for Luke losing his mom and dad and the relationship between his grandmother. And I just felt that, you know, it was very, very rushed. And uh, Anne Hathaway, God love her. She, you know, you know, you know, I don't think it was, this was Robert Zemeckis. Robert Zemeckis directed this. He has directed great movies. One. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, okay? Two, Forrest Gump. Who the hell doesn't like Forrest Gump, okay? All right? Janai, who doesn't? Death Becomes Her. Fantastic. Meryl Streep, Bruce Willis. You know, this one, I was like, Robert, what the fudge did you do? You know? And then, he also wrote it. He had other, there was other writers, but he wrote it. And I was like, Robert, what the hell are you doing? I mean, it, you know, I mean, kids aren't going to know. They're going to watch it. Be happy about it. You know, it's a, it's a movie that you can show your children. But, uh, you know, just comparing it to the original was... You know, it's just like the, the original was so much better. And even if you look on, I think it's on Netflix or whatever channel is showing it, the witches got like a one and a half star, two and a half star. This one has a five and a half star. So this one obviously did a lot better. A lot better. People like this one, I guess, a lot better. I don't know. But, um, spoilers. I'm going to go into spoilers real quick. So. You know, stop the damn video if you don't want to hear it. But here are some problems. Here are some big problems. Um, so, <laughs> at the end, um, and if you haven't read the book, I haven't read the book, but if you have read the book, um, and the book, which is much sadder, um, so what I've heard and what I've been told by, by other people, is that... Uh, Luke at the end says, how long do mice live, Grandma? And she's like, I don't know. And, but she, you know, they don't live that long. So, she, you know, it's sad. Like, Luke dies in the book. The original, um, Luke comes back. Like, he, the, the, the other witch, her friend, the, the, the Grand High Witch's friend witch, whatever, helper, comes back and and, uh, basically, excuse me, basically brings back, you know, brings Luke back to being human. And, uh, and, and this one at the end, Luke does not come back as, there's no, there's no bringing him back. Him and, um, Bruno Jenkins, I love that they had Bruno Jenkins in this one, but they didn't give him enough you know, screen time. You know, it was just thrown in there real quick. And uh, and then there was another mouse in this new one that it was like, it was one of his, his, his mice that he had. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the mice, the mouse starts talking and saying, hey, I'm actually a little girl and they transformed me. And uh, I was like, okay, that's, okay, random. Maybe that was in the book, but I don't know. But it just, it didn't, I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked. All of a sudden, you know, just Luke knows what to do and defeats the witches and all that other shit. Excuse me, shoot. And, um, just, you know, I, I love that they had, you know, the, the character Luke, and I, I love that they had um, Bruno and his parents, but again, like his parents didn't really in the movie. It was stupid. It was kind of stupid. It just really was. I think it was stupid. And I mean, I really love the original. 
you know. And uh, this one, even though, like, the CGI was not bad, you know, it was cool to see, uh, you know, a little bit of a different take. At the end of it, it's just like, and the narration of Luke as an adult, as an adult mouse, um, was uh, voiced by Chris Rock. I love Chris Rock. But at the end of this one, it's Chris Rock as an older mouse telling all these young kids to watch out for witches and what you have to look out for. And it was just like, okay, so they all live happily ever after um, as mice. Okay, I was just like, that's kind of stupid, you know, the original. Like I said, Luke comes back, you know, and it, it just, you know, the original, I believe, I can't be hanged up on the original because that was made in like, what, 80s, 90s? So, you know, this is a fresh take of it, but I just thought the original wrapped up everything much, much more be uh, better. Yeah. Angelica Houston was amazing. She is an amazing actress. I loved her in, um... Um, the Adams Family, I believe that's, yeah, the Adams Family, and she, um, she was great in that. She was great. She was, even her funny moments in the, in, in The Witches, she was sinister, evil, and the makeup was amazing, terrifying, would terrify even an adult. And this, again, this one, Anne Hathaway looked too pretty. And, I mean, come on. I mean, no offense against Anne, but, I mean, you saw her in Batman as Catwoman. Did she really make a big impression on you as Catwoman? Well, guess what? She didn't make a great impression at, as a witch in this one, either. The Grand High Witch. Um, again, uh, I did find her uh, enjoyable in some parts, but for the most part, she wasn't a leader. She, this, this movie was not casted well. The remake was not casted well. Was not written well. And was just like, what the? It's like they just, they just sat around the studio. What are we gonna do? Hey, I've seen that witch's piece of shoot. And I think we should remake it. Yeah, you know what? Get Robert. Robert's all into that CGI shit and all special shit. And so, just get a more. Oh, okay, there it is. Like, it was so rushed. And, I mean, you could have took 10, 15 minutes to let us audience absorb everything that Luke loses his grand. And it was just lame. It was just weak and lame. And just the fact that they had that other little female mouse that's like, all of a sudden, she can talk. Why didn't you just? Why didn't you just say? Actually, I'm a think you know, a think a good little girl. And no, instead she waits last minute, last damn minute, to to tell Luke, hey, I'm actually a little girl. I don't get that decision. And the ending, they're taking pictures of like them at Vegas, and they're doing, and I'm ha and they're having a good, and that's jolly good fun. But I'm like. Not right for this movie, okay? It seemed more like that's a chipmunk movie, okay? Alvin and the freaking chipmunks. And that's a good ending for that. But for this, no. No, I think there should have been where Luke comes back. And, 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 and so does Bruno. And then you finally see this little girl, the little girl. Finally, you see what she really looks like. And there's more of a home. Oh, gosh. And then they, the family, the Bruno's family doesn't accept Bruno. They don't want to, don't want, and then what I, what I really thought was annoying was Bruno in the original tries to tell his parents, I'm Bruno, and the mom's too busy screaming to hear anything. This one, his fat butt is constantly, he's eating. And then so like the parents are like, yes, listening. And Bruno's like eating his way, you know, a cracker. And the grandmother's like, why didn't you say anything? And he's like, because my mama and daddy don't like when I when I talk with my mouth full. And it's like, you know what? You can fucking 
freaking excuse that for a second. You're a damn mouse. I think your parents will forgive you. So just the writing decisions were just ridiculous. By the way, yes, I am in a bathroom, and if you're going to comment about that, yeah, I have nowhere else to go right now, okay? I'm near Mexico, and I'm scared of the, the cartel, so this is the safest place I have. Anyway, so, um, it was weak, and I'm really, like, I, when I saw Robert Zemeckis' name at the end of it, I was like... Okay, Robert, you're getting too old, you're getting a little female, and you need to go sit down over there, okay? I would have written and directed this movie. Not that I would have probably made it any better, but I'm saying, like, come on, Robert. You're a senior director, and this, this is what you do? It was all right. For a kid that's never seen the original, never read the book, you know, they're probably going to have a good time. But it just left off, like... So they're just mouse, mices. And the grandmother says, well, mice might live like three years, but you're a magical mouse. So, so you might be able to live a little longer. Who knows? Hope in Christ. <laughs> and that was it. I was like, what the hell kind of ending is that? You know, this was, and you know, as soon as I saw it, I really wanted to like it. But as soon as I saw Anne Hathaway in it, and as soon as I saw they were remaking it, I was just like, Oh no, because the original, and I'm sure the book, had so much emotion, had so much emotion, and you can feel that pain when the grandmother loses, you know, um, the parents, and Luke loses his parents, and how she's trying to take care of him and fill that hole in his heart, and in this one, they tried, but it was shallow, very shallow. And again, Anne Hathaway, she was too pretty. She was just too pretty. And just there were a lot of scenes that were just so stupid. Just, just very, very stupid. I mean, it was funny, but she didn't have anything sinister about her. She was too pretty and I'm sorry. I mean, not trying to be a jerk, but I mean, and thank God I watched this for free. I did not have to pay for it, <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't, but I did sit through it and watch it. I laughed a few times and thought, oh my goodness, you know, that's that's crazy, and uh, some, like the CGI, I was like, you know, oh wow, that's, that's cool, but the special, practical special effects and what they had back then, they made it work, and that's the problem with CGI. In CGI, you don't have no effort. There's no effort. It's just, here you go, work with this. You know, there's, you know, when you have practical effects, you have hard labor. People sculpting and people really working hard to make something look real. And the CGI wasn't bad, but it was also kind of like Jurassic Park. Watch Jurassic, I mean Jurassic World. Watch Jurassic Park and look how good the T-Rex looks. Then watch Jurassic World. Look how good this, it's not, it's not as great, okay? I mean, it's just, it's just over the top ridiculousness. Now you're gonna have people that of course love the new remake or whatever, and that's great, I'm happy for you. But I'm just saying my personal opinion on this movie was, it wasn't great. It wasn't horrible. But honestly, just the fact that they didn't go as deep as they could have with this movie and still keeping it a child's movie and, you know, little children can take it. It's good to show them emotion. It's good for them to, you know, children are just like sponges, you know, and they can absorb that and they're just little miniature adults, basically, you know, they can handle it. And it's good to teach them, if not Lion King, it's good to teach them about death. It's good to teach, it's so, you know, so they're prepared for it in later in life because they are going to have somebody that passes away, unfortunately, um, in their life, eventually. So, you know, um, it was shallow, like I said. It was very shallow, and uh, I thought they should have even went further with it, where take right from the book, where 
Luke passes away or something, you know, and the grandmother is just crying and maybe says something, I don't know, just something else. But it's just at the end, they're just, happy, happy, happy. And uh, how, oh my gosh. And then, if you remember in the original, uh, Mr. Bean uh, grabs the little cleaver and whacks the um, Grand High Witch and kills her, which was great. You know, get away from me, get away from me. You know, this one, her own damn cat attacks her. And I'm just thinking, that's stupid. Why would her own cat attack her? Like the cat probably terrified of her. I don't know, I don't own a cat, so maybe cats really will kill you in the middle of the night, or I don't know, you're their own owners, I'm not sure. But the fact is um, that this movie had a lot of opportunities, I think, to really do a good job. Yeah. And they didn't. And they didn't. It, they fucked it up. They forged it up, I'm sorry. So, um, but if you do decide to watch it, I hope you enjoy. And um, I guess that's it for that one. I hope you enjoy. This is another review of um, another movie that failed, I think. This is Stephen A. signing off.